Mm. You feel me? We the only sport that if you lose, you damn near got to start from the bottom. You lose once, you damn near got to start from the bottom. Man, you win man, basketball, football, you lose once, you lose twice, then you still got a shot. That's interesting you say that. You lose once or twice, you start at the bottom. It makes me think of, um, you take Adrian Broner, he's lost three times now, and he's still pretty much at the top. Why because do you think that is? They will come out to see him fight. He's still, he's still amongst the elite. Okay. He's still a good name. He's still a good name for, for matchups. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not just no walk in the park, oh, he lost three times, oh, fuck him. He's, no, because at the end of the day, they're going to want to put one of them upcoming dudes in there with him, thinking they're going to beat him, and AB going to want to fucking him up real bad. Because they're going to underestimate him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They're going to want to say, oh, AB lost to him, AB lost to him, AB lost to him. He just lost two fights in a row, or whatever, whatever. whatever. They're gonna put somebody in there, up and coming fighter, and put him in there, and AB gonna beat, he gonna, he gonna wanna be hurting, so hurting somebody. How do you think he's gonna do against Figueroa? Uh, Figueroa, yeah. Um, oh, the, that's crazy, because um, when they announced that fight, one day I was watching TV, I'm like, no. That's the other dude, because um, I think Danny was getting ready for the uh, Morales fight. It might have been a second fight. And Danny was like, D-Mike, can you uh, help me out? I, I need some boxing. So I go up there boxing. So after we box, we box right there. We boxed a few rounds. And his pop was like, yo, hey, D-Mike, uh, Gordon the boys sent a kid up here. They asked, could you box? Could they asked, to um, no, they sent a kid up here. He's like, Danny's done today. Could you give him some work today? I said, all right, cool. Um, my training Nazim wasn't there. I said, let me call Nazim and see what's what. Call Nazim, they said, all right, go ahead. So uh, I'm like, all right, Nazim, like, yo, this is what you do. I'm not there, so just use your left hand. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to use no other punch. Just use your left hand. So I boxed the kid for about four rounds with just my left hand. Four rounds, just my left hand, didn't do nothing. Last round, okay, I used both my hands just to, you know. Then I could look on the TV, this motherfucker fight for WBC, lightweight title. Omar Figueroa. Wow. I'm like, yo, that's the dude I was just boxing. One thing about him is he can fight. He can really fight. AB. See, if you don't really follow boxing or no boxing, you're not going to know who he is. Mm -hmm. Just like I told my wife and a lot of other people, they said, oh, AB going to whoop this dude Mikey Garcia ass. He going to do this. I said, listen, y'all don't know Mikey Garcia. He's dangerous in that ring. I said, of course, I want AB to win. I said, of course, AB has the tools to win. I said, of course, I'm going with AB on this fight. Not, uh, people can say I'm being biased or not, but that's my guy too. Like, I had him winning that fight. Mm -hmm. We don't know what adversity he was going through. We don't know what troubles he had in the fight or what, what, whatever the case may be. But I know he wasn't him. Right. Not to be like, oh man, he let that bum ass do. I said, listen, first of all, don't sit there and say this bum ass dude. Mike, Mike Garcia's not no bum ass dude. He, <coughs> he's the modern day Chavez to me. Mm -hmm. Chavez Sr. You know? But actually, we're more talented than Chavez in you. <laughs> you know, so with, but, but, but with AB and uh, Omar Figueroa, you know, it's, it's going to be tough for AB. It's going to be tough, and it's going to be tough for Omar Figueroa. I think AB, I really think AB will pull it out. And, 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 and for real, for real, I think AB might come out, with it, come out with a knockout. Wow, really? I think so. I think so. What do you think? Why do you think he's going to get a knockout? Is it because of his speed? Is no, it a not, even, you see him it's, not even his speed or his power or his. You gotta look. You gotta think about it. When AB is on his shit and not bullshitting around, partying and entertaining the internet and all that, he is hard to be fucked with. Very hard to be fucked with. He put up a, a video, a, a little highlight video on Instagram like a, like a week ago. That's and I looked at it, I'm like, shit. I said, let me call this. I said, yo. I said, yo, that shit you just posted? I said, that's the AB I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the AB I know, bro.